turn off these iPhone system services now. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you which iPhone system services you should turn off immediately to save battery life, improve performance, and protect your privacy. These settings often run in the background using unnecessary resources. Let's get started. Now let's go into these settings here. And we're going to scroll down a little bit because we need to get to the privacy and security. So towards the bottom there, tap on privacy and security. Now let's scroll down a little bit again, and you can see a long list of various things associated with your privacy and security. We're going to tap on location services and focus on system services that use your location. So let's scroll down again towards the bottom, and you can see system services, tap on it. Now you can see just to start this video, I've turned them all on, but you don't want them all to be on. I'll walk you through what each one of these and why you might want to leave it on, or in a lot of cases, why you want to turn it off. Here, you can see at the very top is alerts and shortcut and automations. Now, if you're not using alerts or shortcuts, there's no real reason why you need that to access your location. So turn them off. In every one of these categories, it's basically your iPhone allowing whatever setting to use your current location. It's where your privacy is concerned. So you can swipe down from the top right here, control panel, and you can see at the very top is system services. I can tap on it. And you can see that the system services is currently using my location. Let's go through and toggle some of these off. You can turn off alerts and shortcuts automations. Don't use any shortcuts that need my location. And you should probably don't either. Now the second option, you can see Apple Pay Merchant Identification. So this doesn't affect your ability to use Apple Pay on your iPhone to pay for things in a grocery store. But essentially it uses the location on your iPhone to track where you're using that Apple Pay and tag it to a specific restaurant or shopping center, or maybe it's a bar or grocery store. Again, this doesn't affect your ability to use Apple Pay, but essentially it just gives the merchant more information and it says basically it helps to tag. But again, you don't necessarily need that. Now the third option, let's move on to cell network search. So this sounds like something that you might want to turn on and leave on. This sounds like if you have that turned on your iPhone, we'll search for the near cell tower to connect to to give you better signal. But that's not what it does. This tracks your location and it doesn't necessarily add any additional benefit to connecting to the closest tower because ultimately what it does is it just triangulate your cell location using your signal on your phone. It doesn't need your location services to share that location. This is to basically do a bunch of other stuff that will share your location with a bunch of cell networks. I again would turn this off. You should also, you can see the fourth option here, the compass calibration. If you use the compass a lot, you might wanna calibrate that compass, but I barely ever use my compass. And you can see that little gray arrow indicating that it has used my location, even though I haven't opened up the compass. So again, I don't really want that on now. The next option is device management. If a company that you work for or a school or something manages your iPhone has a management profile on your iPhone, it asks you to basically share your location with that device management. But again, I suggest to protect your privacy and turn that off unless it's absolutely needed, or when they do install that device management on your profile. But if you can turn that feature off, again, you don't necessarily want to share your location with some other company controlling your iPhone. Now the next option is one that I would recommend leaving on, which is emergency calls and SOS. Now, if you're somewhere where you don't have good signal, and essentially you're trying to connect to your phone to a cell tower to make a call in an emergency, you probably do want your location turned on because this will allow your phone to connect to a satellite somewhere. It'll allow you to make a call, especially if you need help, if you need 911 or emergency services. I would turn that on and leave that on. The next option is Find My iPhone. 
So it depends if you use this feature. I use this feature to share my location with some family members. If you don't necessarily use this, you could always turn it off. But in my case, I'm just going to leave this on. So this is dependent on how you use your iPhone. Let's move on to the next option. This Home Kit, you can see Home Kit here again. I'm going to turn that off. The next one is in app web browsing. So again, if you're in an app like Instagram or Facebook and it pops up and you click on it, it opens up the web browsing. So that is in the app, in the Instagram app, and your web browsing essentially, when you click on an ad, it'll pop up with kind of their website. Again, why would you want to share your location? In that instance, most of the time, that's just allowing that company advertising to target you and essentially draining your battery life while you don't necessarily get any additional benefits. I would turn that off. Now the next one is motion calibration and distance. If you want to calibrate the motion on your iPhone, maybe you use your iPhone when you're out jogging or walking and also you want it to be able to track essentially that activity. You could essentially turn this on, but a lot of people have Apple Watches or other devices that will track their location and their activity as they run or cycle or swim. This isn't really needed. Turning that off. The next one, networking and wireless. This helps you to be able to connect from your iPhone to a Wi-Fi signal nearby or a cell tower. This actually is something that I would recommend leaving on. You can see networking wireless as use my location recently. Now, if I turn this off, one key thing is it says at the very bottom, it says location for networking, wireless, turning off location, and wireless may affect your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and ultra-wideband performance. So again, leaving this off, or leaving this on rather, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi, this helps your performance in addition to Bluetooth. Now the next option, let's go some down, is satellite connection. The option is not available for my iPhone's model. If it is on your screen, then follow. This is in case there's an emergency and you need to connect your phone to a satellite somewhere so that you can make an emergency SOS call. This is something that if it's on and you need it, you really need it. Obviously, there's an emergency. And leave it on the next option. Now let's get to next setting, which is time zone. Now if you go a bunch of different places, say, maybe your time zone just changes a lot, but in my case, it doesn't change all that often. And I can always just go in there and manually update it. If I wanted to, I don't need my iPhone to constantly be checking what time zone I'm in, just be using a battery life and share my location. The next option is share my location here. You can see that's turned on. Again, I share my location with family members. If you do share your location with family members, you can leave this on. But essentially, if you don't share your location with various family members or friends or whoever, you can turn that off. Let's go to the next one. So you can see suggestions and search. I don't need my iPhone to know my location to suggest various things or when I search on Google again, this is, I feel, an invasion of my privacy and not something that I find great value in. It doesn't add a lot of value to my everyday life. Hence, I turn that off. You can see system customization. This essentially allows your iPhone system, the iOS operating system, to tweak and kind of modify various things dependent on your location, your time zone, where you're at your home or an office or something like that again. I don't necessarily need that. I would turn it off. Finally, review all of these. This is how I would recommend all of those settings turned on or off, depending again on your preference on whether you share location, etc. Let's head to significant locations. This is one everybody should turn off. After we do that, let's go back out of here and we'll walk through a few more things. You can see iPhone analytics, routing and traffic, and improved maps. This is sharing your data from your phone with Apple so that they can make a better product. So it kind of is up to you, depending on uh, are you like to share your location? Keep in mind, again, these are all your location not just the analytics, but the location associated with those analytics. 
For me, I don't necessarily see much benefit for me, so I would turn off all of those. But if you're okay with sharing your location through analytics to basically allow them to improve your routing and your Apple Maps, you can turn those on at the very bottom, right? I would recommend leaving the status bar icon on. What this means is at the very top left, you can see that little arrow indicating my current location is being used. I can always swipe down from the top right and see system services here. And it says it's used my location recently. Basically, system service is not using my location, so it is not here in the control panel. But in your case, it will there. Now, keep in mind, if there's a gray arrow, that's basically it's use your location and within the last 24 hours. And if it's a purple arrow, it's using your location right now. So it's just a good thing to be able to find and see is something currently tracking my location. And if it is, you can swipe down from the top, right? And you can always see what is using our location and decide after that fact whether you want to turn that off or whether you're okay leaving it on. Now we've been through a lot of these, all these system services that I would recommend turning off. You can always go back here and I would also recommend looking at all of these apps and essentially go through all of these apps to decide, is that an app that I'm okay share my location with, or do I prefer not to share my location with two? If you don't want to open table to know your location, you can always hit never here. Or if you're okay, you can choose while using nap. I would recommend on any of these. If it ever asked to always use your location, some of them will say always use your location. I would recommend never turning that feature on. There's no reason why you need any app to always use your location. But you can use some while using the app, for instance, like Google Maps, that obviously needs your location to work and function properly. So there are certain apps that I always turn on and have precise location turned on to help me navigate to wherever I'm going. And that's it. Turning off these system services will help you save battery, enhance your iPhone's performance, and protect your privacy. These are the easiest tips with the most easy and safe method. Hopefully these tips will help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to watch my more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. There is a tip for you in the last. Go through my channel and experience my more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.